What's going on everybody? This is Sean of Raw Select Music. Today I wanted to talk about this record right here. This is Bacal Rhythm and Steel Band, The Serpent's Mouth, released on Big Crown Records in 2018. But I figured since their first album, 55, released in 2016, is basically cut from the same cloth as this record right here, I might as well just talk about both of these guys at the same time. So you're getting a two for one deal and I'll let you know whether or not I think they're worth checking out with that little introduction out of the way. Let's talk about these two. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with Bacow Rhythm and Steel Band, they are basically the brainchild of Bjorn Wagner and Sebastian Nagel. And apparently their band leader, Bjorn Wagner, actually spent some time in Trinidad and Tobago, learned to play the steel drums, and actually made one of his own. And as you might have guessed the lead instrument on both of these records is steel drums. So I have to say, if you are not a fan of the sound and timber of steel drums, as I know there are some people like that who exist, you're probably not gonna like these records. I personally am a fan of the steel drum sound and I enjoy both of these records immensely. The biggest draw for these two records is uh, Bacal Rhythm and Steel Band are mostly known for their covers, and both of these albums are absolutely loaded to the gills with them. This one features a pretty uh, wide variety of both hip-hop covers and classic funk and soul tracks. Just reading off of the track list, you've got P.I.M.P. Baco Suave, which is a cover of Jay Dilla's, or J.D. rather, uh, track from his Welcome to Detroit album, uh, Rico Suave Bossa Nova. You've also got classics like Jungle Fever, Scorpio, Tender Trap, which is this really cool cover of a J-Lib track, Mad Lib and J Dilla. And I can't remember exactly the name of the beat off the top of my head, but I think, no, no, it is Strip Club. It is Strip Club. 90% sure it's Strip Club. God damn it. Yep, 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 I was right, I was right. I was trying to do that from memory, but I had to double check. As well as a cover of Dog is a Donut, Police and Helicopter, which is one of the few sort of reggae tracks on here. And this album continues that tradition of using a lot of funk and soul covers as well. You've got Explosive, Burn, One Thing, which is that classic Amore, I think that's how you say her name, track. And I think this one is actually more, has a lot more, or original compositions on it, which are solid. But to me, the real draw of these guys is their covers. And their covers are so impeccably done, replacing the vocalists with steel drums. It's not really anything new if you're familiar with any sort of Trinidadian funk in soul. It's pretty common where the musicians would take steel drums and use them as the lead instruments in place of vocalists. But, 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 but they still do it really, really well. And I think a lot of that has to do with how accomplished they are as steel drum players, as well as it not being the only lead instrument on these records. There's tons of horns on here. There's tons of really funky guitar and bass on here. And to me, the second biggest draw of these records is the drums. I will go as far as to say, I think Bacal Rhythm and Steel Band have some of the best sounding drums in modern funk and soul. Both of these records feature some of the thickest, driest, heaviest, hardest hitting, crunchiest drums I think I've heard on a modern funk record in a long time. The sound of the snare drum on both of these records is just so great. And everybody plays really, really tightly together. The drums definitely anchor a lot of the tracks on here, and everybody plays really, really well together. While the steel pan is definitely the lead instrument on a lot of the tracks, they do a really good job of, 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 of also knowing when to drop out and let another instrument shine in the mix of the music or in the composition of the music. So sometimes you get some really punchy horn leads, sometimes you get some drum breaks, as well as 
with some odd experimentation every now and then. Some of these tracks do have some synthesizers in them. I feel like uh, the guitar and bass only play pretty much a supporting role throughout the, this record and virtually just become part of the mix of a lot of the tracks on here, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I kind of wish they got a little bit more time to shine as well. And ultimately, I guess I, 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 I don't really know what else to say about these records. They're fun to listen to, they're extremely funky. Like I said, the drums on here are sort of second to none when it comes to modern funk. And if you sort of go in to these albums just looking to have a good time, you're really gonna enjoy them. I'd say the sort of few little quibbles that I have with both of these guys is I feel like I kind of wish that they experimented a little bit more. I feel like some of the covers are just a little bit too straightforward and I kind of would have liked to have heard them experiment or sort of branch out and kind of add an even more unique flavor to some of these songs. Because as I said, this record really does not differ that much more from this guy. Although it does sound like they're a little bit more confident on this record than they are on this record. And that's not really saying much because they sounded pretty confident on this guy as well. I will also say that some of the original compositions on here don't really stand out as much as the covers, which is not to say that the tracks are bad, it's just when you're going up against pretty well-known source material, obviously the original works aren't going to stand out quite as much. But that's not really a knock, it's just sort of, you know, I guess maybe I kind of want to hear some more original material from these guys in the future. But hey, if they put out another album of some top-tier steel pan-led drum covers, I'm not going to complain. However, I do actually have one complaint about this guy. This guy is quite nice in the fact that it is a double LP and it is a full complete album. This guy, on the other hand, despite the fact that it does come with a download card and you can get the entire track listing for this record, this album is missing a few tracks if you just get the vinyl. Like I said, it's sort of rectified by the fact that the download code for this album comes with it, but there are some tracks that I wish were actually on the vinyl, specifically the cover of the Jackson 5 classic. It's great to be here because they do a really excellent cover of it, and I would like to be able to play it out on the record. It's a sort of a minor little quibble, and it kind of makes me wish that they had put out a, another double LP copy of this album, but it's not a total deal breaker. It's just sort of disappointing. But like I said, if you're looking for a unique take on some classic hip hop, R&B, funk and soul tracks, you really can't go wrong with this album. And this definitely gets a high recommendation from me. Not just that album, but this one as well. So that's gonna be it for me today, guys. Thanks as always for watching. If you've listened to any of Bacow Rhythm and Steel Band's music, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments below. Also, head over to my uh, WordPress and Steemit blogs because that's where you will find the music links so you can check these guys out. And as always, please, 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 please head over to my Mixcloud account so you can check out my Raw Select radio show, which is where you can hear a lot of the music that I talk about as well as some music that I don't talk about on this channel. And it, it's really like where a lot of my passion is on top of doing these videos. And plus you get sort of like the audio component of this Raw Select music thing. So that's gonna be it for me today. I will catch you guys in the next video. Till then, peace out.